One of the best steaks on the cow is the flank steak, but it's only the best if you know how to cook it properly. We're gonna start out by tenderizing it. Not like that though. Five second rule, let me wash that off. All right, now that we got it cleaned off, you know what's funny about that? Is that actually 90% of the stuff on my floor is probably seasoning. So to tenderize this properly, you need one of these guys. And what we're gonna do is just poke a bunch of holes in there. You can see, we'll go in slow motion. As I press down, the little knives go in, just like that. See the little knives? See the little knives? Flip it over. Now for the next step. Get you a dish like so that's gonna fit your flank steak. We're gonna throw it in. So now we got our Dano Chipotle. That's the maroon top. I wanna show y'all something. Look, we got a full bottle. I just want to show y'all exactly how much I'm using. It might blow you away. I always say sprinkle generously because we're not packed full of salt. We're packed full of real ingredients, so I can use more of it. But people like to say that I use a whole bottle every time. Well, as you can see, I'm using a lot of flavor right here. Now that we got it nice and coated, you can see I did use some, but I didn't use a whole bottle. Now we need the juice of a couple limes. Now it's time for a little tip. You would think that that might sit in there like so, but no, it goes cut side down. So when you squeeze it, it just forces that juice right out. Look, that was two limes. Look at all this flavor. We're just gonna get it flipped around. Get back. We are gonna use one more lime. All right, now we don't even have to throw this back in the fridge. We got so many tiny little holes in there, that flavor is just gonna penetrate into that meat. So we're just gonna set this to the side as it gets the room temperature. It'll be ready to cook. So now let's make our sauce. We're gonna start out by decloving a whole head of garlic. Now I want y'all to look at this. You see the difference in these two jalapenos? You see how this one's got a lot of little white marks on it and this one has none? That means that this one is a whole lot hotter. The more little marks it's got on it is the hotter it is. All right, we got our garlic. Now we're gonna cut us up two jalapenos. We're gonna grab us about half of a bunch of cilantro. Garlic and jalapenos, our cilantro. Then juice two limes. We already have that awesome jalapeno flavor in there, so we're gonna add a little Dano's Original. That's the green top. Next step is some extra virgin olive oil. Now we're gonna give it a little sweet with a little pineapple. Here we go. Fasten your seatbelt and we blend. All right, now let's give it a try. It looks a little bit wetter than I wanted it, but it still looks good. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh wow, that's gonna be awesome. Let's get to cooking. Of course you could cook this outside, but why go outside when you got a giant cast iron pan? Get it preheated to a medium high temperature. You can see the smoke, it's ready. We're going in with grapeseed oil because it's great for pan searing. And now look at this bad boy. There is hardly nothing, no juice left in the bottom of that pan. So now we go in with our sear. All right, we're at the four minute mark. Let's give this bad boy a flip. All right, it's been four minutes on this side. Look at that. Let's just put it back down in there. All right, it's been one minute, we'll flip it over. And now it's on to its last minute. All right, one last temperature probe, 120. Pull this bad boy off, set it to the side. We're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes, maybe even 15 or 20, and it'll be perfect when we get back. All right, my friends, it is time. Look at this bad boy. You got those crispy edges. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so good. Let's cut straight against the grain. Look at that that part down here is perfectly cooked the thicker part you could probably throw it back in a pan or if you like it super rare like that so let's do this let's pull it apart you see how easy that pulled apart give it a try totally taste the lime and the meat and that right there that it's one of the best things you'll ever put in your mouth. Yum, yum, get you some. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time, my friends. Keep sprinkling.